<laughs> hey, see, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we're going to do a tutorial to show you how to upload my PNG files that are now available in my shop, pleasantlyplanned.com. Um, I'm going to show you how to upload them into Cricut after you've purchased them and um, how to go through the process to set them up to print and cut your own stickers. So let's get started. Let me go ahead and pull up. So if you actually go to my website, I'm just going to show you this real quick. If you go to my website, um, you can click from the home page. You can click on collections and you will scroll down and find a collection called PNG cut files. If you click on that collection, you will see all of these stickers that are now available in a PNG cut file download. So I do have some new ones. The new ones are all the buzz. Unicorn Wishes, Rainbow Florals, Groovy Western, and then I also have a couple more. Let's see if we can find them. Um, only one more, and it's Lined Florals. So here, Lined Florals. So there are five new designs that are available as PNG images. These images um, have already been altered, and they have the background lines around them. So let's see if I can pull one up here and show you. Um, I've already done the hard work for you as far as making sure that it has the outline because I don't like using Cricut's sticker feature. It is not, they do not have all the bugs worked out yet. So I'll show you all the buzz. So you see the white line that is around the PNG around each individual image. So I've already um, edited and formatted these to have the cut line around them. So you don't have to worry about your Cricut or your cutting machine cutting into the actual image. So I've already taken care of that part for you. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and go to Cricut. So what I would do, um, of course, I have preset already saved files that I use as backgrounds for my um, stickers because I have the Pleasantly Planned logo and all that fun stuff up at the top. But for your sake, you're going to create a new project. So we've got a blank canvas here. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to um, insert an image. Now, Cricut, I think that their sizes are a little different now so forgive me i'm going by the old sizes that i use so i use a square um, i think like i said i think cricut will allow you on print and cut to cut a bigger image but we're going to go with what i know and what i'm familiar with okay these are the, the size sticker sheets that i use currently in my shop so we do 6.75 wide and 9.25 tall so this is going to be our background we want this to be a print then cut background and of course we want this to be white and then we're going to go and we're going to upload the image that we saved to our um, desktop computer where just remember where you saved it wherever you saved it when you received the email from me with the actual file please remember um, where you saved it at or you're never going to find it so for the sake of this video we're going to use um, all the buzz so we're going to I've already uploaded this let me just show you how you would do that real quick. So once you go to your, your blank um, canvas here, you have created your background in 6.75 by 9.25. You're going to click the upload down here at the bottom. And then you would click upload image. So you're going to browse your computer and find where you've uploaded your image. Mine automatically defaults to come to where I've uploaded it. So we're just going to double click all the buzz. And then it brings you to this upload image um, screen here. You're just going to click continue. Make sure that everything is correct. Now, if you just do this straight from the file that I send you, you don't have to make any edits to this. It's already ready for you. So apply and continue. And Oliver, of course, is going to yawn in the background. Um, and then you have options here. You can do multiple layers, single layer, which is just a cut file, or you can do a flat graphic, and we're going to always do a flat graphic, okay? This gives you the image just as the PNG with the white background behind it, so Cricut knows exactly where to cut. So always do the flat graphic when you order my designs. Then we're going to click continue. Um, it's going to bring it up here again. You have all kinds of options in Cricut to delete and erase and all that fun stuff. Don't mess with the files that I send you. Just upload just as it is. 
So once it comes into your computer, Cricut's been a little bit slow today. Actually, that was pretty good. Um, so for your sake, now generally my sticker sheets that I print and cut here have about a half an inch up at the top with my uh, logo and then the name of the sticker and all that fun stuff. And then I have to size around that. But you don't have to do that because you're doing this at home. So I would say to do up here in your width don't change don't unlock your proportions because if you do that and you change it to six it's going to make it super skinny so don't do that so we're going to click on our image that we just uploaded we're going to make sure the proportions are locked and then i like to just start with about six inches wide um, because remember our background here is 6.25 and then if you want to name the sticker so let's just say you want to give it the same name that I give it so that you can keep up with all of your stickers and what you've ordered from me. So this one's called All the Buzz. So we can put All the Buzz up top here. And I don't know where you would want to put it. But we definitely don't want this to be a cut design. We want this to be a print then cut. And of course, you can change your font and all that fun stuff. A child's year is one that I use commonly. Um, where did it go? Cricket's being a little bit wonky today. I don't know if it has to do with that whole Windows outage or what. I don't know what their servers are. But anyway, so child's year. Um, make sure that it's print and cut. So that's automatically defaulted to basic cut. We want to go to print and cut. And then you would highlight your white background and your font or your title. Highlight both of those. And you're going to flatten those because you don't want it to cut out all the buzz. Um, and then we're going to just drag that to the background. And then we're going to place our actual designs on the page. Remember to stay within the white box that we put or the rectangle that we put behind there. So here's when you can actually unlock the, the um, proportions on your PNG image. You can stretch it and bring it down a little bit just to kind of fit snugly inside of that rectangle that you created. And then I always like to highlight both. So we've got the flattened sticker background with the title on it, and we've got the PNG image. Then I like to click align and center horizontally so that it's kind of even here. And I always attach. And here, this would be the large size sticker sheet that you would get from my shop. So at this point, you would go here, you would click save and title it whatever. Um, I'm going to title this test so that I don't try to cut stickers with this. <laughs> so um, name it whatever you want to and save it. And then you're going to go up here to the make. Click on the make button. Oliver, you got to stop. Oliver, you got to quit. Okay, and then so now we have our entire white sheet. Um, this would be your sticker paper here in the background. This is going to show you what size sheet it's going to cut out. Your Cricut needs these cut marks on each corner. So then you would just click continue. You're going to also need to send this to your printer. So, you know, I always like to print using the system dialog and click your print button. In my system dialog, um, I have a special setting with color adjustments um, right here. This says stickers. You definitely want to make sure you at least have it on fine print or best if you have a best option so that you're going to definitely get the best color options on your printer. Um, and then, of course, you would click print or whatnot. Um, once you've gone that far, I don't actually have a machine on. Actually, I do. Okay. So you would connect to your machine. Now your, your settings are going to be a little wonky, so I'm going to try to help you out here. Um, I'm going to put mine on custom, so don't pay attention to what I'm doing. Well, actually you can, um, because you're going to want to go in and adjust your, your pressure and all of that um, on your actual cutting machine. So I use the paper. Um, hold on, let's see. Okay, this, this is not the part I want to do. Um, 
So you could actually, sorry, oh, this is where I go. I'm sorry. I go into material settings, material settings. And then I use the paper, minus paper, paper, and then paper plus. And you can just for your cheat sheet record here, if you'll look, I use paper plus, which is on your dial. You can go in and actually change it. So you would click edit. You would go into your paper plus and you and click edit and then put your pressure around. It depends on your sticker paper. So it's going to be between 175 and 200. You're going to have to play around with this. Okay. So between 175 cut pressure and 190 or 200. Mine right now is set at 190. So that's just something for you to know. Make sure you set it to um, between 175 and 190 or 200. So you're going to have to go in and actually play around with those settings until you know exactly what you're going to do. Um, but mine, I always cut my clear sticker paper on paper plus. So you can see paper plus there. And then my paper, my regular paper stickers, I cut at a little bit um, lighter pressure. Let's go back and see what those are. So my regular paper is only at 158. So I've got my paper, actual matte paper, I cut at 158. And then my clear sticker paper, I cut at 190. So that's just going to depend on your machine. Um, you're going to probably waste several sheets of sticker paper until you get it figured out. But once you do, you'll be set to go to... Um, cut your own stickers at home. Now the reason I like using the dials, like the preset dial, paper minus, paper, paper plus, is because you get this option to operate in fast mode on the dial settings. When you go in and actually sit on this custom, so if you roll your dial all the way to the left in the middle where it says custom, and you create a new custom, you cannot, you do not have the option down here to go in fast mode. So I like to use the preset ones that they already have on the dial. So I use paper plus, and then of course I adjust it to, you know, 158 if it's going to be paper or 190 if it's going to be clear paper. And then you have this fast mode. So I always cut on fast mode, of course, because I'm always, I always have a ton of stickers to cut. So then once you've got this screen, um, finished and you've gone on your fast mode then it's up to your machine so you would just load your paper into your machine on your mat and then whenever it's ready you would click the C button for cut. So I hope this video has helped you to figure out how to use the PNG files that I am now offering in my shop. Um, I think this is going to be the perfect way for everyone in this crazy economy to save some dollars and you know, have fun crafting all at the same time. You can take this actual image. So this is what I do. So this is my large 6.75 by 9.25. To make my small sheets, I unlock proportions. I change the size to half of this sheet, which would be 4.625 by 6.75. So then I have my small sheet and I can actually cut two of those per page. So I'd line them up side by side and then highlight the both of them. And I want my width to be the maximum, which will be 9.25. So let's see, I'm going to space over one and then highlight again. So I've got 9.246, which is close enough. Um, so then we're going to align them at the top, which gives us our 6.75. And then the width across is our maximum sheet size which is 9.25 so i just go change that here and just kind of stretch it out a little bit then i would attach and i would save as and i would save it as all the buzz test small okay but now to make the mini size sheets that i sell you would take your small your two smalls together and you would unlock the proportions on their sizing you would take their width down to 6.75 and their height to 4.625 and then you can do four mini sheets. Now like I said Cricut has changed their maximum sheet size um, but I'm still operating in the old one so you would have to do the math to figure out the proportions for each of your four mini sheets. Um, I just have not changed anything in my shop because that's just too much for me to have to worry with but you would line up your two mini sheets on top, two mini sheets on the bottom 
and then you're going to want of course your height to be your 9.25 which is your maximum the maximum i'm going by we would align them to the left which gives us the 6.75 and 9.25 and then i would attach those and save as and then i would change this to all the buzz test mini or whatever you want to save it as so anyways um, I hope that all of this has helped you figure out and of course I know you're gonna to have to play this video over and over it took me forever to learn how to do this don't get frustrated you can do it um, and I do plan on continuing to offer the PNG files in my shop so you know if you have any questions you can always send me an, an instant message on Instagram <clears throat> excuse me or Facebook um, you can send me an email. Just remember that I do work full-time now, so Pleasantly Planned is not my full-time job, um, which I guess all in all is one of the reasons that I've decided to go ahead and offer these PNG cut files as well. So anyways, um, I have five brand new designs available on my website, PleasantlyPlanned.com, and I have, I think there's like, I said 28, but there's like 23 of my previously released designs that are also available in this PNG format. Um, of course, you can always find all of my designs, I guess, probably from this year forward um, that are available in printable, but the printables are not, a, are not formatted for your cut machine. If you want a cutting machine format, you need to purchase the PNG files. So yeah, that's it for this video. Um, I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you love my new PNG files. And I can't wait to see the stickers that you've created at home for yourselves. I love you guys. I thank y'all so much for watching. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye y'all.